Hey everybody, time for another Monday Movie Review. This one's gonna be of a movie that is very fucked up, and it's from the 70s, like a lot of fucked up movies. And, if you don't want to be spoiled, click away now. But also, if you do that, check out my Patreon, or check out one of the other fucking movie reviews on this fucking channel if you really want to. Follow me on Blue Sky, Resonator Zen, fucking Twitter, Resonator Zen. Uh, yeah. Patreon.com slash Resonators N. Um, so yeah. If you don't want to be spoiled, and I suggest you maybe don't go uh, into this with a... I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to spoil it in this video, but I'm not going to spoil it until, you know, after this warning. Seriously... Don't watch the. Don't watch this until you watch the movie, and don't look up anything about the movie. And the movie's called The Baby, <coughs> from nineteen seventy fucking three. This thing has a fucking PG rating, and the seventies were a fucked up time. <laughs> it was the fucking dark ages for this shit? These fucked up movies that were PG because there was like PG thirteen. And, like, all the other ratings were also not in the fucking cards. So, time for the spoilers. Uh, dude with some kind of brain problem that were... That was kind of... Uh, <laughs> His growth was stunted by way of his family, <coughs> um, who fucking abused him and kept him as a baby. He's a 21-year-old dude who's like, brain. his brain is so fucked up from the abuse and whatever was else was on top. Uh, and they've had a bunch of fucking thing, like a, a bunch of babysitters and social workers and it's like it's <laughs> someone in the discord server where I watch stuff uh, basically pointed out this movie is very similar to and I, I agree even though I haven't watched the movie but I know the movie they're referencing what, what they said this is very much like something is wrong with the Johnsons which is an Ari Aster movie or short film, whatever the fuck. And uh, I've heard people talk about it. I have not watched it because I don't want to put that bad shit in my fucking brain. <clears throat> but if you know about that, it's very similar to this. And yeah, um, Abuse My Family, one of the scenes in the movie is Dude... The babysitter fucking, like, lets the dude suck her tits, and, like, she gets beaten up and, like, thrown out or something, and then there's, okay, so the main character is this social worker who, like, there are warning signs in the beginning of the movie where she, she chose to, you know, chose to have this, like, this case, which she could just control what cases she has, I guess. <clears throat> and, um, like something happened to her husband was in an accident. Um, and so like, she gets it, like she goes to the family, gets kind of enthralled with the family and the, and the, the baby. And, um, fucked up things ensue. Uh, just yikes, to say the very fucking least. Um, <laughs> just, I don't want to fucking talk about him. Uh, there's some implied sexual assault in the movie where one of his sisters sexually assaults him. Um, 
The social worker then steals the child, steals the, the man from his family, and then it is revealed that her husband is also infantilized because of a traumatic brain injury. And so she got, she stole this person to have, so his, so her husband had, could have a friend. And like, ki killed, she killed the family of the guy and buried them under her, the pool that she was having made. Just fucked up and beyond all fucking belief. Just so fucked up. And again, this got a fucking this got PG. This got a PG rating in 1970 fucking three. Like, that is fucking wild. I guess it's not. There's not like there's not a lot of explicit stuff, but there's a lot of impl you know, implied stuff that's really fucked up. Um. Like, the whole implied sexual assault by one of his sisters, the whole babysitter <coughs> taking advantage of him and sucking, like, having him suck her titties or whatever. All that shit. There's all, like, the implay, like, there's also, like, just the abuse, like, the cattle prod abuse that happens in the movie. And then, like... The implied, one of the, like, the, they, like, the, the, his, his family stormed the house of the lady who took him, and fucking, one got, I think one got stabbed, one got, like, beaten, and the, the mother got tied up and thrown in the dirt with her daughters, and then was buried alive, and then had, like, Concrete placed on top of them. And then, like, yeah, it's like, all of this fucked up, like, all of these fucked up things, like, got a PG rating. And again, I, I guess because nothing's really explicit or whatever, but still. But fucking still. It's, it's kind of fucking insane. And this dude, the dude who directed this, made a bunch of, like... I don't... Like, a lot of... Weird shit? But a lot of, like... He, he made a couple Dirty Harry movies. But he also made something called The Herod Experiment, which is, like... It's based on a book, and just Google it, because I don't fucking want to say this shit on fucking... On camera. Don't want to get my channel fucking... You know, um, also this movie, the the baby, a fucking a like has a Blu-ray release. Which why? Just why? Why is that fucking a thing that had to ex? And apparently, this this fucking grandkid is like fucked up. I think it's his grandkid. Or is this just his kid? It's his grandchild. Just, like, directed a couple things. Like, a, dent, a short and a movie called Thelma. And it's... it's a, it, it, I legit thought it was fucking... Uh, Roseanne. But apparently, no, it's fucking someone named June Squibb. I don't know who the fuck that is. It's weird. It has Richard Browntree in it. Fucking. But like he ha he's done this uh, like a f he was he was an actor in a thing called Aspirational Slut. Like the fuck? <laughs> what? I don't. It's so weird. Anyway, it's been in a bunch of shit. Yeah, watch, watch this movie, don't watch this movie, fucking, it's on you. Ta-ta.